What also is doing well is the weather because it's looking pretty good compared to what we've seen over the past few days. Yes, it is. I mean, it's, it's just so sunny outside and uh, we kind of kicked out those clouds. Yesterday we had some sunshine today. We brought it back. So back to back days. We always love that. But I want to show you Lincoln City Alvarez Chinook Winds Casino Resort camera here. Waves are still going. People are enjoying watching them, although the king tides are behind us. We still have some systems out there in the Pacific that can generate some swell and that's going to continue to push the waves in our direction over the next probably few days. 55 degrees coming out of Lincoln City. It's that system that's out there in the Gulf that's going to bring the rain in, which is helping produce some larger waves. And we'll have a couple of them as we go through the weekend. So I do expect uh, on and off some pretty big waves out there along the Oregon and Washington coast. If you're thinking about doing another travel out there and uh, spending the afternoon maybe. Uh, something that you could watch from the distance nice and safely. High pressure off towards the east. There's that area of low pressure. So that's generating wind and that wind is strong enough and sustained enough to help push some of that water and create some waves. So that's uh, helping us out with some of those nicer, larger waves that we were checking out there at uh, the camera. All right, so, you know, the late part of this week is not going to be anything like our Monday and Tuesday. I mean, we had very wet days Monday and Tuesday. Hard to accomplish that again a few days later. But uh, we do have a little bit of rain in the forecast, as you can see on Friday. It's just going to be kind of a quick splash. I don't think it's going to be all that much. I'll show you here in the weather story. Rain arrives here. Here's the time. A little after midnight, it's 1.30, and it continues to move through the valley as we go through the morning. We'll pause at 4.30. I think somewhere around 4 to 6 a.m. is probably going to be the wettest part of your morning tomorrow. And then we just see a few spotty showers heading into about midday before it all starts to clear on out. So again, this arrives after midnight, sticks around through about noon. Wonderful view out of Stoller Winery right now, 50 degrees. I hope you have a great day. There's Mount Hood Meadows. Love that view at 39. A little cap to the clouds there. Uh, not dealing with the avalanche forecast, uh, you know, too, it's not too bad. Uh, we're moderate levels above tree line, near tree line. Uh, with all that moisture and everything going on and the warmer temperatures, sometimes we are dealing with uh, a more difficult avalanche forecast. But as for today, we're in the yellow and the green. Snow level remains pretty high, but there's some signs of it maybe dropping later next week and we need that snow level to get down because we lost some snowfall uh, from the atmospheric river. I mean, last uh, weekend we were doing pretty good and then you could see how much we lost there because of that warm rain. Uh, so future cast here as we go through the night again, there's that front. It moves through the overnight. It's out of here by the afternoon. I think we have a nice pocket of sunshine tomorrow after all the rain. So I think after lunchtime, we start seeing things clear on out. So don't count tomorrow out just yet. It's going to be, I think, a pretty nice day. Uh, Saturday morning, we do have some clouds, but no rain. And it sticks around so we have another little disturbance here on Sunday. So really only two moments you got to worry about. It's going to be Friday morning and Sunday morning. All right, 54 degrees for our Thursday. There's Monday at 50, Tuesday at 48, and maybe another chance for some showers on Wednesday at 47. All right, keep it right here. We're back after the break.